Welcome back to the Love in Dubai show. We are now joined by singer and songwriter Leila Cardan, who is with us today to tell us about her latest endeavor, Papillon, a passion project taking the dining experiences in Dubai to a whole other level. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Not at all, because we actually caught up over COVID, but we had to do one of those Zoom interviews, which really just are not the same. And especially for an artist during COVID, like that must have been... Tricky, but you've come out like a butterfly. <laughs> Hence Papillon. Hence Papillon. I mean, I guess like that period really gave me some time to, you know, revisit my strategy and what I was going to do creatively because obviously the performance space was very different for artists and I was so stifled and I wanted to create something beautiful um, and that would diversify what I was doing in terms of my artistic expression and Hence, Papillon was born. So that was really born out of COVID and born out of uh, you looking to just totally reshape what you do creatively? I mean, it's, it's, I still write music and I still produce, but this is just to be able to expand you know, what I'm doing as an artist. And um, it's really bringing together all of the talents that I've acquired over the years. I grew up on the stage as a ballerina and did a lot of theater, and I'm in love with theater. And um, I had this opportunity to partner with the Wassel uh, Hospitality Group, which is, as you know, um, a very strong, uh, you know, uh, or organization in um, Dubai. And I had this opportunity to take over the space and create something beautiful. And I really felt that there was a gap in the market for something that was theater, a dinner and show experience that was really um, a theater. So. That's where Papillon came from, the, my brainchild, yeah. So to give you guys a bit of an insight, I actually got to experience it. And um, it's a night on a whole other level, unlike anything I've experienced in Dubai. It starts, it's a dinner dining experience. Um, but the entertainment and the dancing is something that we haven't seen before in Dubai. Uh, tell me about finding the talents that could bring your vision to life. Oh my God, that was the hardest thing because obviously with Expo happening, a lot of the amazing local talent had already been snapped up. We opened November 23rd. So, um, you know, in the lead up, I had to do a lot of auditions and I did like so many across the globe. So I did one in Paris, we did one in LA, we did one, um, we did a couple here. And like I would do the auditions and out of 50 people, I'd choose one. So I spent my days just going through um, different accounts and finding dancers. And so eventually we got the best talent. Um, We have two dancers from Milano in Italy. They're amazing. Um, Our lead choreographer came from Paris, um, very like experienced and a beautiful dancer. We have another dancer from Paris, two from Argentina, who are incredible tango dancers. And um, we have a little up and coming Broadway star um, from New York who's unbelievable. She sings, she's a triple threat, so. This is amazing, but this is your passion project. And imagine all of these auditions, would you call yourself a perfectionist and trying to find the right people? I don't think I'm a perfectionist, but I really wanted to make sure that, um, you know, the talent is everything. And I can say that being on stage, that you know you can put together the greatest creative project but if you don't have the right talent it doesn't get executed properly so you know for me it was really important that we bring the right talent and they're just also incredible people so it makes the experience of working together the professional level of professionalism much higher and obviously you know when you see the show they are all so incredible so yeah And they've all flown in from all over the world, which is incredible. And they must be adjusting to a new city. And I love that because Dubai, we are such a melting pot. Um, One thing that is for sure about the show, um, led by you, it's definitely got a strong feminine focus. Um, Even as you walk off the show, you have this incredible like mic drop moment. You're like, the future is female. And you walk (laughs) off. It's amazing. Why is that important to you? I think it's important, um, especially in that space, for the expression of women. And then living in the Middle East, or specifically in Dubai or the UAE, you know, there's a lot of progress and change, and I'm always happy to see that. But you know, this show is very much about sensual liberation, um, and it's not about any kind of vulgarity, but it's also it's about expression. And so, um, the show takes you on a journey of of a, A feminine journey. I'm not saying that it's you know something that everybody could relate to, but it's a journey of a female where she starts off in a place of like elation and exploration and love, and then she goes to a place of you know 
hurt and um, shame and then she comes out strong with her sister so when I say the future is female is because they're coming back strong and, and they're rising but the show isn't like you know only about that there's also a celebration of the, the extremely talented men that we have in the show and I think there's the right balance but yeah I mean I'm Layla so I'm always pushing that agenda yes, <laughs> but it's that. really important to note that our creative director of the show is Denise Faye who um, was actually the choreographer of movies like Chicago Burlesque Nine she was Cher's tour director for five years so we have a very strong feminine push and she's an extremely like she's a vet I mean she's a Hollywood vet so mm-hmm. to have someone of her caliber of her experience you know work on the on bringing this show together as well, um, my vision together was like really a, a huge blessing. We're really grateful to have had her and you know, we're all strong women so it was just kind of a natural thing. A natural it? progression. Mm-hmm. Um, you mentioned progression and you mentioned change and we're in the Middle East. Uh, the show, it's a little bit racy, of course. <laughs> it's a, like, it's a, is, it, is it cabaret or burlesque and, and is that difficult to get past any kind of any line here to put on a show like that here in Dubai? Well I'm very obviously um, I've been in this country for many years and because of my heritage my Middle Eastern heritage I understand there are certain traditions and cultural bounds that we don't cross everything that I've done is it is racy I'm not gonna lie but it is also very artistic so there's no vulgarity it's not like you're watching something and you think no that's you know it's an artistic expression it's very artistic I'm doing everything within the laws I am pushing boundaries but I think it's beautiful who is Papillon for um you know I don't like to say that it's for any one particular person I think you know, what I really wanted to do is offer Dubai an opportunity to have like a dinner and show theater experience that they may not have had before. So I would love everybody to come and experience if they're over 21. Um, But typically it's for, you know, the explorative types, the artistic types and and people who want to actually come and have, look, it's a serious dinner and show experience. It is fun. We have a great, you know, disco DJ in between who plays like a variety of amazing, Mm -hmm. you know, music that you might not hear in other places. Mm, It's not, I would say it's not for like the typical masses. It's not, you know, um, we're, we're against the grain. So we're doing stuff that is different to everyone else. But we would love everybody to experience that because we're trying to change that, you know, face is like, adding something to the cultural scene here that they may not have experienced before. For you, um, obviously an incredible creative, what is it like the business side? You know, so many of us, we want to do something that uh, is kind of off the wall, but we may, like, what is it like running the business along with the creative? Well, we have challenging. Yeah, it's so challenging because, you know, like a creative mind always wants to stay on the right side, but then obviously there's all of the business elements that come into play and that's where the restrictions come because you want to be free creatively, but then you've got to like, you know, rein yourself in sometimes because of, you know, whatever restrictions you may have or limitations you may have. The thing is, I have an incredible um, team. Um, first and foremost, I have my fiance and my business partner, Hamdan, who is a, is a restaurateur. He also um, owns La Carnita and uh, Cartel and is very experienced from a restaurant aspect and has worked really hard on developing an incredible menu and making sure that the operations are like very tight. And then, of course, the Westin. Um, they're unbelievable working with... Uh, Uh, well, so the hospitality group has been great. They're super supportive. And most importantly, we have the support of the publications who have been like really great in getting the word out. So it's not easy. Like I'd like to just focus on the creative yeah, part, sure. but I also come from a business background. So it's not very new to me. I understand all of the elements and things that you have to consider when you are running a show but like also considering the business aspects as well interesting so there is a power couple behind this as well um yeah, <laughs> like t- to think that <laughs> tell us about um the feeling i guess on opening night when you actually this is your show uh you've obviously sung many many nights before but this is actually bringing your show to the audience what was that like oh my for god you? it was a disaster <laughs> what because <laughs> the curtains open i'm like Do those people have their food? Is everything okay over there? I, I, I can't just focus on, I mean, I am very dedicated to my performance. And I, like, wow. I, give, I always give 100% of myself, like regardless of 
what the show is or where it is. But even more so, this is like my baby. So I'm like so invested in every part of it. Every night I sit and I watch every single part with so much love. And um, yeah, it is a different feeling. Um, but I am very much like, you know, watching everything, making sure everything's okay, everybody's looked after. But generally, everyone is always having a good time. And we have such a gracious, amazing audience. I've never seen that. I've performed almost everywhere in Dubai, and I've never seen such a gracious audience. People always clapping, so attentive, so, you know, grateful. And we love, 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 love having an audience there. It's so interesting that you're saying you're watching everything because the beauty of it, I think, is that it's a very small, intimate venue mm-hmm. and it feels very special because it's a, not a very big crowd. Um, and what I would agree with you on is that you don't always have a crowd in Dubai that's like up and dancing and clapping. But like, and I'm not an upper dancer clapper, but I was. You and were. Was like, yeah, exactly. I and saw I, you. And I was like, and even earlier on in the night, I was like, like, there's such a good atmosphere here and I loved it. Like, it's a night out like no other. Um, I'd really recommend you go check it out. It's Papillon. Uh, by the incredible, fabulous, uh, fabulous Leila Cardan. Thank you. You're so, so, so kind. Thank you so much for coming, and you're always welcome. Thank you so much. Um, guys, that's all we have time for today on the Love of Dubai show. We're back with you every single weekday morning. Same time, same place. Stay safe and wash your hands. Bye-bye. <laughs>